DMC, man. We got the next gauntlet battle coming up. You know what I'm saying? BBL, if you're having a good time, make some noise. Woo! Yeah! yeah! That's what's up, yo. It's our uh, it's our second battle of the night. We got Bazooka Joe versus Eon Zero. You know what I'm saying? Let me introduce my judges real quick. What up, MAFX? Marcus Aurelius Francis, Facebook.com slash the beat writer. Radioactive. Uh, check me out on YouTube, D South Rockwood, DSR Productions. Shout out to DMG, Young Menace and Unique for Good D. My third judge? Black Green, House of Villains, Mean Team, Money Gang. Let's see a good battle. Yeah, that's what's up. So, let me get this point flip popping. On my left. Heads. As it is. Uh, you go first. All right, so rapper on my left, introduce yourself. What up, Bazooka Joe, Union Army. Um, let's get it cracking. I like my battles like I like my porn. Interracial. <laughs> <laughs> Race bars, hashtag. <laughs> All right, introduce yourself. Eon Zero. There it is. Period. <laughs> All right, let's go. So we got uh, 60 seconds on Eon Zero. Bazooka Joe, good to see you back. So game for superheroes, you've been decked out with the hat. You'll be dead of diabetes before your rap career once again goes unnoticed. You should try to switch to Wheaties and set your rap game to focus. Trying to take it back, you said my tracks are the shit. You can't take it back, that's what you meant, and that's a Freudian slip. Come on, Bazooka Joe, stealing a name somebody else created? That's a terrible thought, I couldn't even fathom that faded. Bazooka Joe is a bubblegum, that's awfully sad. I can chew you up and spit you out, you deadbeat dad. Oh. You black menstruating version of Eric Cartman. <laughs> Can't hold a job long enough to pay the rent for his apartment. Like, please, this is a poetry slam and a rap battle master while these people are waiting for good rhymes to spill out of this fat turd. <laughs> please don't hold your breath. I see you all wish you could edit. All those lines are so pathetic. Have you guys already posted them on Reddit? I'm sorry, guys. It'll be hard to boost. This guy's R&R and, &R and I'm Grey Goose. Produce the Bazooka Joe mixtape. I'm thinking he's fit. Shit, I wouldn't even buy it for five cents. Time. Time, let's go, yo. Oh, yeah, let's go. Shit, man. This kid ain't come to battle. He must have came to peep the scenery. I'm eons ahead of him. He's got zero chance of beating me. He'll probably choke, but if he don't, I'll still get smoked like greenery. Shit's cake. So just wait. I'll put him in his place easily. I never turn down a battle. This matchup is unusual, though. Teddy, be real. Is this my punishment for losing the pole? <laughs> I mean, I'm all for an easy win, but does he have to be whack? I'd rather take a loss from someone who can actually rap. <laughs> he doesn't have to be black, but y'all can see the difference, right? And how we speak and write, even in the type of chicks we like. I like him thick and white. His type, I can't really get behind, because he wants a bitch with no tits and a dick between the thighs. <laughs> <laughs> He's the new kid on the block. So his rhymes ain't in sync. <laughs> And them back streets, so get stomped to 10 blinks. And when it's 98 degrees, you'll catch them giving men winks and some short shorts and roller skates sipping a blend drink. By day 26, I'll be trying to visit O Town. Get that big time rush like his bros up and hose down. But as yet, he hasn't really seen that new addition because my click is all for one. So this is really Joe's Town. Boy band bars, bitch. <laughs> <laughs> oh, 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 Zook, look at your stomach. At least try to work for it. You get a shoe shine, you have to take the guy's word for it. <laughs> Build yourself a vest that dangles a few cheeseburgers, because girls stop you at kissing and promise they can't be pleased further. You make about as much sense as Scientology. Something's wrong with your biology. How'd you get somebody to add a fucking chromosome? If you're the queen, you've just been overthrown. If you're the queen, you've just been overthrown. Okay, Bazooka Joe, you're terrible and fat, and no one wants to see you, and we're... I'm not going to be able to because it's getting pretty black. <laughs> Hold up. Okay. You and your red shirt looks like the Kool-Aid man and I'm waiting for you to run in and come berserk right through the wall. Will you run into this wall so you can shut the fuck up? No one wants to hear what you say, so fill up your cup and have another drink because no one wants to hear you act like a dirty black slut. I don't know. Time. Time. All right. Fuck it. Yeah. Let's go make some noise, y'all. Yes. Right. Yeah. Let's go. J. Rome, where you at? What up? J. Rome. J. Rome, ladies and gentlemen. J. Rome. <laughs> J. Rome roasted you on Facebook. You started acting like a female. Screen capped the conversation and you sent his boss an email. <laughs> and you had the nerve to show your face here. You took quite a risk, dude. 
Because what you did is a bitch move and just proves you're soft as tissues. Talk to him. I didn't want to battle this kid. But I won't question it, Teddy. To you, the general, I'm your soldier, and this veteran is ready. So I got some weapons ready, some gats, a hatchet, and machete. This kid brought some snacks and a ratchet named Mrs. Betty. And I'm only saying this once. Some guns are not visible. It's called a metaphor, folks. It's fun. It's not literal. But I'm known to make exceptions. Yeah, now the sword shivering. A team dead because I stood my ground like George Zimmerman. So we can start that race war. Because him versus me is the only time this white kid will ever face adversity. And people say I talk white. But I keep a long swisher and tall pitches of malt liquor, so I'm really all nigga. Yeah. <laughs> oh, you fucking with a raw spitter, I'm dope, but Dawn went and been known to handle a problem child like I'm John Ritter. Time. Time. Yeah. yeah. Somebody make some noise, yo. Yeah. 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 You are the opposite of Steve Buscemi. Your fat black core and fingers don't look like spaghetti. Stop breathing so heavy, I won't give you CPR when a chunk of fat decides to finally clog up your heart. <laughs> Decides to finally clog up your heart. The raps usually suck this bad or is this a special occasion? Shit's embarrassing, just saying. I was worried that the zoo was gonna let you out for the event. I guess they got tired of you not paying the rent. I told you didn't get body by hypo, I said you did great, but it's the best that will pass the test and shine with fate. You're old now, you have a kid, stop, please. No, you can keep trying to rap, but playing with his Barbies. I'm trying to get served by the guy who gets served three times a day with fast food. One time they forgot his fries and Zook nearly ripped out his eyes. And don't hate it working in no time, you get to play fire all day. You work at L&W when you're the janitor, okay? Don't try to just the beaver looks, I look better than that faggot. Who, compared to you, he writes better hooks. You're up here trying to get away with murder, but tonight my rap's from Zimmerman and took it further. Mm. Hashtag Zimmerman flips. Turn! <laughs> I want to share with y'all some facts about Ian O'Harris. He sits down peeing, spends his life being embarrassed and pleasing his parents. Fronts like he's hella hard, but to get into the bar, he borrowed mommy's credit card. <laughs> Maybe one day be a star, but I don't mean a sick man, you know, be setting up pedophiles like his name is Chris Hansen with a middle school ID and online vids dancing, dick tucked between his legs, sporting the latest kid's fashion. And he can't afford a cell phone, the kid is mad needy, so he went to East Lansing, found his boy Dan Evie, pulled down his pants, got on knees and hands, freaky, and his boy's like, of course I'll put you on my plane, sweetie. <laughs> <laughs> this battle's damn easy, I'm wasting lines cause you ain't worth it You the type to slit your wrists and posing pics with dude shirtless Nobody wants to be your friend, but you're not a full person With them craters on your face looking like the moon's surface But Zook, that dude's perfect, I'ma rip this kid apart I don't even know where to start, you got the soul but lack the heart No, no, you got the heart but not the soul No, scratch that, scratch that You got the heart and the soul, but you're missing the talent though so I'ma let the cannons blow cause his weapons and words You ain't safe cause my mate's about to spread to the birds Went up in your house a murder street, semen and blood On your sofa screaming fuck his couch and pee on his rug Time! <laughs> 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 You started off the first round, right? Like, yeah. You went first. Um, I sensed your nervousness from the get a little bit. Like your uh, your gestures and your body language and stuff was a little bit more nervous than it was like because his was more effective. I felt okay. throughout the entire battle. Um, you had some nice punchlines and shit like that on him. Um, I think overall the delivery of your punchlines was more effective and made the crowd and everybody feel it a little bit more and believe it and stuff like that. So I'm gonna give all three rounds and I would judge the battle in Zuka's favor. Okay. What's up? I'm gonna go with the first round was crazy hard to judge. It was, you had good ass lines, you had good ass lines, but you had me rolling with the carbon line. I think that's the line that made me choose you the first round. But you choked up the last two and I'm gonna have to give all your, dude, your bar is fucking Alright, I thought the first round was a draw, I couldn't even call it, that shit was neck and neck. Second round, obviously you stumbled, he took that pretty easy. Third round, he edged it. Well, I like the Zimmerman flip back, that shit yeah. was yeah, that, 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 that was a nice freestyle flip. I think, yeah. I think Joe edged it though, but without that second round show, it might have been a little yeah, it's a show. That's what's up. That's what's up. Thank you. Hey, yo, that's what's up. That being said, it's Teddy MC. We out here, BBL. This is the gauntlet you already know. The winner of this battle is Bazooka Joe. Yeah, buddy. Yo, that's up. Hey.
Yeah, that's what's up.